Hey guys, I'm Zarin from the Timium team and welcome back to another brand new tutorial on Tutorialmas. Today let's talk about quizzes. Quizzes on e-learning platforms are essential to motivate the learners to learn, help them remember their lessons and of course to assess the students what they have learned so far. But quizzes don't have to be boring. You can create fun and effective quizzes for your e-learning courses with Tutorialmas. Let's see how the quiz builder of Tutorialmas works. To get started, go to the course builder. You can do that from the front end or back end. Navigate into a topic and then click on the quiz button. Give the quiz a name, for example, basic Java syntax. You can also add a short description here to let the students know what this quiz is all about. Hit save and next. Now onto the question. Click add question to start adding questions to this quiz one by one. But before we do that, let's talk a bit about the styles of question that you can choose from to build your quizzes. From true or false, MCQs to open-ended, TutorLMS offers you 10 different styles of questions to better craft your quizzes. For example, we have the single choice question, which falls into the category of MCQs, but here you have only one correct answer, whereas in MCQs you can have multiple correct answers. We have open-ended question where the students can write their answer in an open text format. We also have image matching or matching question type where the students have to match a list of statements or images against another list of statements and images. We also have the ordering question type where various statements appear in a random order which are to be dragged in the correct sequential order. So you can see TutorLMS offers you every kind of question that you may need to build your quizzes for an e-learning course. Let's go with one of the most basic one, the single choice question. Set the answer required to yes if you want the question to be mandatory to answer. Select randomize if you want the order of the question to be random. Set the points for the answer. You can also hide or display the points for the question. You can add a description which is optional so let's skip that. Now add a few relevant answer to the question and mark the correct one for the answer to be saved. Let's add another question of the type ordering to see how that works. Write your question title, select ordering, and add your answers. Please keep in mind, the sequential order in which you add your answers here is going to be the correct answer for this question. Click save and continue, and repeat the process to add other questions for this quiz. Now moving on to the settings to customize the quiz behavior. Here you can set the time limit for the quiz. Let's set it to 10. You can also hide or display the quiz time. The next option we have is the quiz feedback mode. The quiz feedback mode basically decides how you want to provide your students with feedback after they are done taking the course. Let's go with the default one. You can also set the number of attempts allowed for this quiz, passing grade, and maximum number of questions allowed. Which means if you have 50 questions and you want the students to answer 10 out of 50, you can set it here. Hit save and you will see a success message. That's it, you have successfully created a quiz for your e-learning course with TutorLMS. Let's see how it looks to the enrolled students from the front end. When a student is ready to take the quiz, they can simply navigate to the course page, scroll to the topics, and then click on the quiz. This will launch the quiz interface. Once they are done taking the quiz, a result card will be automatically generated to show their grades. I hope this video cleared any confusion you had with the quiz builder of TutorLMS. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.